In this video, I show how I make treads and risers using floor planks. For the risers, I'm going to start out by setting the template to the width of the riser, making sure it's flush with the stringer trim on the left, and then if there's anything on the right, make sure it's flush with that as well. So I'm putting it on the bottom and making sure that there's already a tread there to account for the thickness. So I've locked down the set screws and this is a template of this specific riser. And quick tip, I also wrote left and right just to make sure this isn't mixed up since it is specific to each side. So I'm gonna start out by putting this at the corner. In this case, I'm not gonna cut off this piece right here. I'm just gonna leave it so it reduces a cut. This just rests directly on the tread anyways. And this is so small that you can't see it. I'm probably gonna put some silicone here so it'll be basically invisible. So I'm gonna line it up to the very corner of where it'll rest. Same for the other side, like this. Make sure well, if this moves, you got to readjust it. And make sure this hasn't moved. So this is exactly how the riser is going to fit in there. So sometimes this side is angled. If it's angled, you might want to move it back so you can see that there's a slight angle on this. So I got to move it back so that the height is correct. So in this case, since I know this is the top part, I need to make sure I line it up exactly with that if it's angled where this is lower this way. So that way it'll cut correctly and I'll just have to very slightly cut this at that angle. And then same for this side, then I'm just gonna mark with a marker. Riser, after marking it, here's the right side and here's the left side and this is what I'm talking about with that angle. So I should taper to nothing if uh, the inside is closer. Next I'm gonna take this and cut it off exactly at this line to count for the location of where the mark is since it's actually a little bit further. I'm cutting just on the inside of the mark and you also need to account for the blade. So I'm using a jigsaw for this since uh, the circular saw isn't accurate enough. So I'm just gonna follow this line exactly on the inside of it and cut it out. Now that you have your cut piece, go to the riser where you measured and slide it in and make sure it's a very flush cut. So it should be a perfect fit, both sides. Shouldn't be really any gap and it should fit snugly. Uh, you might have to bend this slightly if you made it slightly long, but if you bend this out, put the edges in on each side and then just press this in. This will be pre-tensioned slightly, which is fine. As long as there's enough room so that there aren't any gaps right here, it's okay. As a riser, I'm gonna start with the template maker loose on both sides so that it could just easily. And you will need to decide what depth you're gonna to wanna to do the tread. So in my case, I just put a spacer here since this had a nose on it and I didn't wanna cut the nose off in case I need it in the future for carpet. So I just put a small spacer so that when I look right here, it's one complete surface. So I decided that I'm gonna end the plank just on the inside of here so that when the riser is put over here, you won't be able to see it. Here's an example. So I actually go under there quite a ways. So in my case, most of my treads are pretty uniform. So I've just been making them at 10 inches. So here's a 10 inch mark right here. I line it up flush. You can see it'll end well under here and it'll look good. So do the same thing for the other side. Make sure it's loose enough to move freely. Line it up at the measurement that you want. Press it tight against the trim or surface that's on each side. Then snug up the ends so that you have your measurement. Same as the riser, I'm going to set the tread template down. Since my treads are 10 inches, which is more than the width of one plank, I've assembled the second plate into the groove so that it's smooth all the way across and locked. So I'm going to line up the tread, and on my case, I'm going to take the end of the tread almost flush with the riser. So I'm going to use the short side to reduce a cut. And I'm going to line it up just like I did. And also, I'm actually going to line it up on the 10 inch mark since that's where the tread ends. It looks like this is actually angled again, so I'm gonna have to slide it back until this end is flush with the very edge of it. So now that this is lined up, I'm then gonna draw a line right here and make the corner right here. Same thing right here. And then I'm gonna take a straight edge right here and connect where they end right here to make the length of it. 
Here's my mark. So this is the outline of the tread. Now I'm gonna go cut it out. I'm gonna use the jigsaw just because this has to be a very precise angle right here. And it's obvious if you deviate with the circle saw, which is easy to do since the blade is not where you're looking. Uh, so the jigsaw is more accurate in my case. I will do the circular saw on this edge because this is hidden underneath that extra space I had and it'll be out of the way so it doesn't t matter too much how accurate it is. And the circular saw is much faster for that. So I'm going to go cut it out. Now that I'm back at the tread, I'm going to slide it into place, making sure there aren't any catches anywhere. So it needs to fit just right. Actually, I did this off camera, but it was a little snug, so I had to trim a tiny bit off the edge. Otherwise, when I tried to install this, it could be very difficult, and you don't want to have glue on this when you're trying to shift it and realize that it doesn't fit. So you can see I've lined it up at the end of the riser. I'm going to put the riser on. It'll look like this everything looks good so this is complete and ready to attach to the tread and uh, put the nosing over both of these next I'm going to install the tread and riser so both processes are pretty similar make sure you have your glue ready to go I do this one-handed so it's gonna be a little difficult so I'm just gonna make a zigzag pattern like this Make sure and put it so it can't leak anywhere. This uh, keeps on going out a few minutes after, so put something underneath it. So here's my adhesive bead. Next, I'm gonna assemble the two planks or one plank, whatever you have. And I'm gonna place it right here. If it's two planks, make sure and put one down, put the other one and lock them into place. Then you can slide the whole tread as one back into position. I can't show this one yet, so I'm going to install it real quick. Okay, I've assembled mine and laid it flat. It's still overhanging slightly. So now I'm just going to push it back. Right here, I have a little cutout. i got to be careful. Just sliding it right now on the glue. I'm just going to press it flat everywhere. Make sure the glue makes good contact. Next, I'm going to put some brad nails in. This is just to really hold it down. Just in case the adhesive fails in 10 years, that uh, it won't just fall out. So I'm gonna do it right here, press the tread. There we go. This is gonna be covered up anyway, so I'm not too worried about it damaging it. Do it over here on the edge. Here's the tread after bad deadline in the corners and the edges. Next, I'm going to do the riser. It's the exact same process. I'm just going to run a bead right here, all along here, and then put it on there. And then brad nails, you know, one here, one here, down here, 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 here. And next up, in my case, I'm going to put some nosing on the edge right here. This is to cover up that gap. So I'm going to need to measure the width of it. So in my case, about 38 and 3 eighths. And I would recommend measuring every single one because they could vary by about an eighth inch depending on how accurate your stringers are. Next, I'm gonna mark on the edge right here my measurement and then cut it out. Next, let's do a test fit. Make sure everything fits. There's a tiny little gap, but I'm fine with that. So depending on the fasteners you use, your process might be different, but I'm using these little drive nails that came with it, so it kind of matches it. So to do this, I am pushing this flat, making sure this surface is flat or maybe angled slightly uh, toward the tread to give more grip. But uh, you don't want to go too much, otherwise it could be like a little trip hazard. So I'm pressing it flat and then pushing it forward into the riser to make sure it's secure. I'm actually pre-drilling them with this tiny little... Uh, 16 inch drill bit just because it's too hard to control this uh, going into the wood tread it keeps on wanting to go all crazy so this is just to help control it and if you're fine and everything just finish nailing these flush and that's it for the uh, riser and the tread and that's how i cover the treads and the risers with floor planks thanks for watching